What is good, Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Tesla Spy and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's going on with the overall market moving forward and some big news that just came out involving the Xbox CEO talking about Tesla. Let me first mention that I am not a financial planner. Make sure you take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you guarantee 20 free stocks and offerings in just four days. Anyways, Tesla has a very, very nice looking symmetrical structure right here as we're trying to break out. You have even more upside to start pushing towards that 200 price target as Tesla is looking more and more bullish by the days. We had some news that came out. I want to talk about this first before I break down more data. As you guys know, Xbox CEO has been talking about Tesla is very bullish on the company as a whole. And he basically mentioned that he was observing the FSD uh, structure in California and he was experiencing it and its different systems. And he said that he came out of the experience behind the wheel as a bullish stance on autonomy and autonomous driving he also mentioned that there's going to likely be a chat gpt moment coming out for next year and he said some very important things uh he had the privilege of actually testing uh, different softwares he tested waymo and also fsd he said they each perform better in their own ways and he was very impressed by the progress of fsd over the last couple of months and he believes 2020 <coughs> excuse me 2025 will be the chat gpt moment for fully autonomous driving so that's some very very big news in his opinion and that is great to hear at least for tesla investors so i do agree with this point that fsd is just absolutely incredible and what we're going to see is going to be revolutionary i think that we're going to have the chat gpt mo moment in the, within the next couple of years possibly next year it is still very possible and with the growth that's coming it's absolutely spectacular it's going to help tesla in a lot of different ways so what do I see for the share price? We got a nice top bottom like structure. This is going to likely be symmetrical. And I see Tesla going all the way up towards at least 195, if not uh, 198. So I'm seeing some more upside potential as Tesla is breaking out. And we're going to be watching to see how well this ends up performing. We have support currently right here around 191.8. If we lose this, I'll be looking for support down to 188, followed by 187 and 185. We have resistance all the way up here towards uh, basically at 194. Breaking that opens the doors for this new high to be breaking out towards. And if we break 194, I think Tesla could easily start flying up to new highs all the way up towards 196.5 and eventually get closer to 200. So overall, Tesla's doing a very, very great job at holding up. I think there's a good chance this may continue to attempts to push. So it's looking pretty good in my personal opinion. There's a very, very nice looking uptrend. On top of this, when I zoom out all the way, we actually remove the drawings right here. What you'll find is that we have a nice inverse head and shoulders like structure. Tesla looks bullish overall. So it does look to me like it's going to be seeing the 200s very soon. If not the 220s, it looks bullish overall as we approach these deliveries. Tesla's looking pretty darn good. Now for the short term, Tesla's seeing a lot of sideways price action. Let me just actually pull up the five minute time for just to kind of show you guys this. For the short term, we're just kind of stuck between 192 as supports like right about here and we have this resistance all the way up here towards 194 we've been going back and forth and back and forth for quite some time and i think we may continue to do this as time progresses if we end up losing 191.6 now we could be dipping down towards 189 which is the 50 ema i favor is just going to continue to trade sideways so we'll just have to see how this ends up progressing but overall tesla's holding up very well building a lot of strength and there is more upside potential moving forward for spy now this is very interesting spy is very tricky right now we came all the way down towards uh 543 we rebounded just under 545 and we're just kind of trading sideways getting tighter and tighter and spy is going to likely continue to consolidate at least for a large chunk of today but i want to note that this 544 areas where we're kind of moving around we dipped about 80 cents below 544 and then we pushed 80 cents above 544 so it's just back and forth back and forth price action on 544 if we lose it like i said before i'll be looking at 543 losing that is confirmation for a bigger drop and then breaking 545 is going to help this push higher towards 545.8 overall i say i'd say that we're just range bound giving spy some time it's just kind of consolidating right now so give it the time it needs despite the fact that there is a risk of downside because of this like downtrend we kind of have right here. So give this some time and we'll have to see how it goes. Part of why SPY could dip is because of NVIDIA. NVIDIA had this high towards 130. We did pump up here only to reject. And now we're starting to downtrend a bit. 
So I think that NVIDIA could continue to fall towards 122.8, this previous resistance becoming support. If that fails, this will be tipping even lower. So NVIDIA is turning back down, and I think that there is a risk of more downside towards 122.8. Losing that could also open the doors for 120. So for me, I think that there could be a risk of more downside. So with that downside potentially coming, that could once again contribute to even more downside in the market. So just be a little bit careful with that. Uh, as far as the QQQ goes, we're just kind of choppy right now. We have basically a lot of sideways price action around the 480 range. We have 480.5 is where we went up to the high. Our low is around 479, so about one point above and below, back and forth, back and forth price action. But if we end up losing our 200 EMA, this 479 area, I'll be looking for 477.9 to 478, the low uh, from the pre-market. I think we might be revisiting that if we end up losing support. And we're not really doing that. We're just kind of trading sideways. So give this some time and we'll see how things go. Apple's also kind of uh, acting as a counter to NVIDIA because it's been pumping a bit. We broke past 212.5, so that's a good sign. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, let me pull up the four-hour time frame. This is building some strength. Got a nice bounce off our 50 EMA. And I'm going to be looking at 214 as our next resistance area. So we're looking at a nice cup that's forming. Apple could be retesting 214. And this is what's helping the market hold up a bit. We'll see if this rejects or not. But overall, it's looking a bit more bullish. So far, so good from Apple. Supermicro is looking a little bit weak. We have a head and shoulders like structure. Uh, we're basically approaching this key support right here around this 820 area. If we lose that, I think that we're 800 is coming. Then this imbalance will fill down towards 780. So I see downside as a strong possibility. For the IWM, we're also 2000. We're kind of rejecting right here. If we do dip lower, we'll be dipping down towards the uh, imbalance over here towards 198. So I do favor downside as a stronger possibility. For AMD, we're kind of rejecting here. We're uh, on this bit, a bit of a downtrend right here in this channel. So I anticipate some more uh, of a downtrend for now. So we'll see if this leads to a flag or not. But the trend is a little bearish for the time being on AMD. For Coinbase, we've been attempting to rebound it, but we're just kind of shuffling right here. It really depends. Can we come up to fill this gap? We came just short of that. Um, if we end up breaking past 223, look for 225. If we end up losing 220, we'll be dipping down to 218, then eventually 215. Otherwise, we're just trading sideways on Coinbase. Uh, I'm going to give this some time to consolidate. Amazon's building some strength. I uh, got a little dip and a bounce. Uh, we could continue to push higher for, to 192. We still haven't really met that target just yet. Uh, and then I think we might shuffle between 192 and 190 once we push a little higher. Meta's also trying to push higher. We actually broke out. We got a nice bounce off 507. And now we're pushing up towards resistance. We could go a little higher to 515 on Meta, then continue to shuffle between 510 and 515. So far, so good. Microsoft came down to uh, 448 as expected and it bounced. Now we're looking for a push for 5, 452. We're going to likely continue to shuffle. Google did pump and then dump all the way down towards uh, exactly the level we called out. We called out the 183s. Now we're rebounding. We're just trading sideways. So look for lots of sideways price action between 183 and 186. So I'll give this some time. The memes like AMC and GameStop are still down, kind of boring. Uh, AMC is looking kind of weak. Still shuffling, same thing with GameStops. There's not really a whole lot else going on. But with that being said, guys, make sure you watch Tesla within the range I called out. It's still continuing to shuffle. But overall, despite that, it is still building a lot of strength. Nice little trend on the four hour as continuing to grow as time goes on. So we're looking pretty good for Tesla. Uh, with that being said, I just want to thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one in just a couple of hours. Take care, guys, and peace out.